Good morning, good morning. We're up at the irrigated field, hoping to lay pipe today. The uh, tile guys are coming in later this morning, it sounds like, or sometime today. We're gonna work on getting our fittings all mounted up here. to get the big old pipe wrenches out today the four footers um, but we're getting it so we've got yeah, up, uh, pressure relief coming out of the well we're putting a t in there for another valve so we can fill sprayer and stuff like that and then four inch out there's our four inch valve and then we'll go into the thread go to the six inch pipe for over there all right well i think we've got everything here up to where our z pipe goes in the ground so I said we come out with a nipple into a T and then we're reducing down to three inch here we'll eventually put a fitting on there to be able to hook up to the sprayer or a tank or whatever and then continue through four inch through a valve and then we go from four to six inch flange this is our chemigation valve so there's a check valve in here that won't allow anything to go backwards and then this port right here is where our fertilizer injection will happen right into the water stream um, We've got a port here where we could put a pressure gauge. These are air reliefs. So, yeah, all good here. Ran back down here to the farm to pick up our backhoe. Phil got our old green dump trailer hooked up to the 7520. We put the forks on that tractor because we might need them for carrying some pipe around. And uh, we're taking some stone up so we can help with some of our connections and bed the holes and whatever. Yeah, we'll try and get some pipe laid out and get started here. Oh, laying irrigation pipe again. That is no fun. Anyway, we got uh, the, the big, the full bundle of pipe laid out. We didn't quite make it out there. A few more sticks to bring out. We got something we'll use just to get started here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna run over a bunch of corn here. Another we're gonna do about it. It's growing. It looks really good. But. Uh, we're gonna have to sacrifice a little bit to get our pipe buried. It's okay. Catch it a ride. Back up. Well, our pipe is laid out. Our starter hole dug and our Z pipe in. All those fittings. Waiting for the tile guy. Came back from lunch and that's go time apparently. Let's do it. Wheel machine. Homemade, homemade in the 70s wheel machine. It's cutting our trench for us, and we are laying pipe. I don't know how deep it is. Deep enough, it is deep enough. Look at the corn roots we got growing here in the sand. It's a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. Dad back filling all their fill. It's cool. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of work. Putting that pipe together. <laughs> but we're getting there Destroying some of our very best corn. I mean this corn is beautiful. Look at it. It's beautiful growing fast but We're destroying it It's okay. It's for the greater good And walk up and get to water Most of the pipes I would say 80% Go together really well slide together nice and easy It's not hard and then there's that one every five or six pipes that just will not slide together I'm exhausted but I'm old and lazy and out of shape so that's normal also I have sand everywhere my pockets are full of them you should not wear jeans with holes in the knees when you're in a trench full of dirt and sand because that sand goes in the hole in your knee and then instead of falling outside your boot it falls inside your boot so now I have that to deal with <sighs> yeah
made it to the last pipe right in front of the machine here. He's gonna pull that out. We gotta get our Z pipe and get this end of it done. I might have to move that a little bit. Dad's back filling. We've got all but the last stick in and our Z pipe. Um, yeah, sandy ground. I thought we'd run into some clay on this end, but no, that's sand. And that's why we're irrigating it. The corn looks phenomenal. It looks really good. It's it's really good for growing stuff because it drains well, but it uh, dries out and doesn't hold the moisture, and that's why we irrigate up here. So, yeah, we're in good shape. Look at the wet spots from the corn roots that we sheared off. How much moisture there's still sucking up making the ground wet that's crazy for the greater good it's for the greater good we're almost done doing some thrust blocking we're pouring some concrete around our z pipe just doing one here tonight this is a lot of work because i'm not even doing it a lot of work all right well the pipe is in. It's done. Hold on. Imagine that. Um, I am exhausted. That was that was a lot of work. And I know I'm just being a baby, but that was a lot of work. Um, fortunately, it's a one-time thing and not an annual thing like the aluminum was. So, all right. So uh, we've got to pour concrete on the other end yet. Thrust blocking. We got the one side done. We got to do the other one, and then. Um, we can hook up the pipe, the, the hose, the, the rain to the pipe, all that is good to go. And our well is connected. The last thing that needs to get put in place is the electrical side of it. I am waiting on a VFD. I had one. It is the wrong one. It was the wrong voltage. So they are getting me another one. I'm hoping that I get it on Monday. But we'll see about that. Um, we also have a electrical panel that we ordered that should be in next week breaker panel we kind of need it it's not a hundred percent necessary like we could start it up without that if I had to so we'll see I was uh, optimistic a week ago or a little more than a week ago that this week things would be running that didn't happen um, but I am pretty optimistic that next week it will be so we're very close uh, we also need to put some posts in. We've got some some bollard, ballard, bollard, whatever you want to call them, posts. Just protect everything, both around the well and pipe, and then at the riser in the middle of the field. So we're going to get a uh, post hole driller, auger, or something, and some posts and concrete those in. Uh, but those aren't super critical. They don't have to be done. They just need to be done. Have a great weekend, everybody. We might go up there tomorrow and pour some concrete, do something, but there's a pretty good chance I'm not filming anything until Monday, unless something is different than I anticipate. But have a great weekend. Like and subscribe, questions and comments, all the good stuff. Go check out Farm Focus. Grab yourself the Best RX t-shirt. Now available in kids' sizes. I need to go get myself a bunch of stuff ordered, I think. And, uh... We'll see you guys next week. I'm going to bed.